Hello and welcome to Spirits of Westeros. I'm your host Jessica Kinney and I'm here to help you combine the love of Game of Thrones with the love of alcohol. Hell yeah. This week's drink is named Milk of the Poppy after the painkiller and anesthetic used on many of my favorite characters. It is used throughout the Seven Kingdoms on those in severe pain. Maesters make it from crushed poppy seeds and it's white in color, hence Milk of the Poppy. We first see it being used on Robert Baratheon in Season 1 after he was fatally wounded by a boar. Eddard Stark orders Maester Pycelle to give him Milk of the Poppy and then later that season Ned needs it when a Lannister guardsman drives a spear through his leg. So, uh, full circle. His daughter Sansa later even says that maybe that's why her father would denounce King Joffrey's legitimacy because he was influenced by the drug. Kyburn is giving it to Gregor Clegane to calm him while he performs secret experiments on him, but we've also seen it being refused by people in severe pain, including Maester Lewin and Jaime Lannister. Jaime didn't want any anesthetic when Kyburn was operating on his severely infected stump where his sword hand used to be. If that doesn't make you want a little painkiller of your own, I don't know what will. Here's what you're going to need. One ounce of spice drum, a half ounce of Bacardi 151, one ounce of banana cream liqueur, one ounce of Bailey's Irish cream, and one scoop of vanilla ice cream. So you want to mix all of the liquids into a shaker and give a good shake. You want to pour into your glass, garnished with your scoop of ice cream. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. As you enjoy this creamy, stiff drink, know that no matter who dies on Game of Thrones, you can always wash away the pain with a little milk of the poppy. Thanks again for watching and stay thirsty, Thronies. If you like this week's drink, check out the lavish Lannister named for the old wealth of the crown. It may not be an anesthetic, but it does make four very strong shots that if you took yourself, would probably knock you out.